Right, this is still midday live on TV3 and uh, coming to you live from Accra, Ghana. But we, s we now turn our attention to France where over the weekend there were some terror attacks in that country that has left about some 129 people dead. Now France Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve has said that they have mobilized 115,000 security personnel in the wake of Friday's Paris attacks by Islamist uh, militants. Mr. Kazuno um, said that 128 more raids on suspected militants were carried out. French airstrikes also hit Islamic State in Syria overnight. IS has said it carried out the attacks on bars, restaurants, a concert hall, and at the stadium in which 129 people uh, died. A huge manhunt is currently underway for one of the suspects, Salah Abdesalam. Uh, we've been joined on the line by a journalist with French, uh, French news channel France Vencatro of French 20, France 24, and he's joined us on the line from France. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, my name is Michael Kirtley. Very happy to be with you. Yes, Michael Kirtley, thank you for the correction. What is happening in France as we speak? Uh, how is the mood like, especially in Paris? Well, uh, obviously the mood is, is somewhat tense, be, partly because of the terrorist attacks, but also because President Francois Hollande has declared the war on um, ISIS. And, uh, and so with, over the past two days, they've been bombarding... Uh, uh, Raqqa, the, the main city in Syria where ISIS is located. And so the, it's kind of tense. People don't know exactly what this means. When, when you say that you're declaring a war on a terrorist group, what does that mean exactly? Uh, also, obviously, people are still under in a state of shock following the attacks. Uh, I was out in Paris, you know, the, the last few days, and not that many people are going into the streets of Paris. And the people that go out, they're avoiding... They're avoiding to go out into the coffee shops and things like that. Maybe they go to the movies or they go indoors. But right. they don't go to the coffee, coffee shops. Right. And um, as a citizen, I'm sure you've spoken to a number of the residents there in France. Uh, have you seen, do you get a sense of the need to flee the country or to leave? Or they are quite sure that the government has the situation under control? <clears throat> no, I don't think that the French... Uh, are thinking about leaving the country at, at all. Uh, but I think that right now, because of the heavy presence of military, the heavy presence of police, because as you just pointed out, there's been a, a great mobilization of, uh, of forces here in Paris, I think people feel kind of reassured that the government is doing something. However, probably beginning next week, people are going to start asking questions, well, how could such a, a broad and well-organized attack take place in the middle of Paris. I'm sure that question is going to, going to be asked. Because this is very different than, say, Charlie Hebdo, because Charlie Hebdo, which was an attack that took place in, in January, was a very targeted attack. Yeah. This attack hit numerous, numerous targets and was indiscriminate, and yet you had eight people with a whole network behind them who were carrying out the... Uh, why, 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 was it, why, was, why wasn't the Parisian or the French security forces, why weren't they better in charge of the situation? That question I'm sure people are going to ask. Okay. And uh, we would certainly be coming to you in our subsequent bulletins for an update. We are told that they are chasing one particular uh, man who is a suspect, and I uh, will come to you later on, maybe today or yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, they're chasing. They're, 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 the network of terrorists is, is in Belgium. I mean, it goes all the way back to Belgium. So it's a big, it's a big manhunt right now. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Michael Cutley. Uh, he's a journalist with France 24 and was giving us an update of uh, the lifestyle, the mood in France following the um, uh, Friday attacks, terror attacks in France that has led to the death of some 129 people. And uh, the French president, Francois Hollande, is leading a campaign to deal with ISIS. He says that he's going to destroy, those are his words, destroy ISIS, and the other world leaders are in support of that. TV, Ghana has also sent a, a statement in support of the French people saying that they should stand strong in these trying times.